Hey, you want to hear something absolutely crazy? You were a little baby one day. I was a little baby one day. We were all little babies one day. And even when I was a little baby one day, <laughs> even when I was a little baby, I watched a show about little babies called Rugrats. This show I remember being pretty cool. I don't know what it was. The characters were really goofy. The animation was super clean. And as a little baby back in the day, it was relatable. But now, I'm not a little baby anymore. I'm a big grown boy one day. So will it still have that, you know, kick in the pants, that diaper filling effect? <laughs> Maybe I'll relate more to the parents now as opposed to the little Rugrats. I don't know. The best thing to do is watch a random episode from the first season to see exactly how Rugrats has aged. Okay. Nostalgia just punching me in my face. Ow. This intro music, I think, is... It's gotta be top five for me, personally, for most iconic. At least for engaging those nostalgia neurons in your brain. There's just something about it with the visuals and the... <laughs> Just hits really hard. Don't remember Rugrats just having constant music and sound effects. Throughout this whole episode, there's music and sound effects. And it's very interesting and fits the mood, but is also something you would never hear in any other show. It's, it's, it's beyond cool. It's really cool. About time you got here, bro. Yeah, I'm here. So, what's this big secret invention that you couldn't wait till tomorrow to show me? Get ready for this. The Electro Grumeister 2000. Okay, it's, it's really starting to become apparent that I'm almost 30 years old. So, I'm probably right now maybe older than the parents are in this show. It's very funny. I, I relate to Stu now. And he he's a bro and he, he loves to say the word bro. Okay, actually more that I watch this the more it's kind of giving me an existential crisis Realizing that I am now relating to the parents from a show that I watched when I was a little baby I think we're good. I'm just gonna I Just gonna really think about gonna think about things over here. You know you can't live life scared of aging, scared of getting old, knowing that one day you're bound to just out, huh? This machine is Okay, here's Angelica, who I think everybody who's seen Rugrats remembers as being so mean. Fluffy, say hello to the babies. Two little little babies just being like cruel. Like, look at this example. Taking a vicious cat that oddly looks very much like Angelica and just sticking it right up to these little babies' faces and also up to Spike, who is the most precious, beautiful dog to ever grace a TV screen, as we'll see through this episode. <laughs> Fluffy, you stay up here above the dog. That's where you belong. I think Stu's bro is a little a little bit of a bad parent, especially if this is how Angelica just acts on a daily basis. Now he just leaves Fluffy, the most vicious cat of all time, alone with these little babies. Whatever. Okay, listen. Here's what we're going to do today. I've been taking dance classes, and I'm going to perform for you. Uh -oh. So what Angelica does is just puts on a show that nobody would ever watch for the babies, forcing them to watch her sing. Sing, we, we say that loosely. But this whole dance sequence, it's very strange. There's something about it, it lasts way too long. 
but it does set up Fluffy being just as bad as her owner, Angelica, and making Spike get in trouble. Fluffy, you're funny. What in the world is going on in here? Spike, you naughty dog. Look at Spike's face. Just... He's just there, being cute, looking after the babies, and no, now he's in trouble. I gotta say, he's fluffy, can... I just don't understand it. I, I can't figure out what's wrong with Electro 2000. It worked this morning. Sure, Stu. No, I mean it. Uh-huh. I said a big grown boy and I'm still a little like stepping back from my screen a little bit. okay the first thing you gotta do is poke yourself in the eye no do it no do it <sighs> my gosh I didn't think they'd actually do it they poked themselves in the eye just a mat. Okay, okay. Put yourself into these shoes. You're walking up. Oh, hey, my little little babies. My friends' little babies. Poke yourself in the eye. It's, it's sadistic. Okay. This whole this whole episode of How It's Age is dedicated to Spike. Spike is truly incredible. Spike is the dog that every child wanted. When they asked their parents, can we get a dog? What they envisioned was Spike. In this whole episode, Spike is getting treated like, like Fluffy should. I'm sorry to the cat people out there, but Fluffy is a bad example. Oh no. That does it. Bad dog. You know what this means. It's the garage for you. Okay, so halfway through this now, I'm very angry, all for Spike's sake, but it's actually pretty awesome of an episode. I don't know if this is weird to say, but Rugrats is holding up so far, and I think a lot of it has to do with the animation, the constant shifting music, and now being able to look at the parrots from a different perspective. It's, it's really fun to watch, actually. <laughs> The Tommy and Spike connection is just so innocent, just so touching right to the core. They're there for each other, and we see Tommy doing his best to ensure that Spike gets out of that garage and doesn't it's take any more of that blame. We did all this stuff, and Spike gets in trouble. Don't worry, I got an idea. A bad and couldn't get up in the morning. If you want to look at a masterclass on how to make a character intimidating, Rugrats is doing a great example here with these camera angles on LJ um, on Angelica cuz she she freaks me out. I'm not even a baby. One of the coolest like, things as well about Rugrats is the distorted perspective. When we're down at the kids level, the rooms look like huge and very very weird and disorienting and that obviously relates to how babies and kids see the world from a completely different perspective. It's Really fun, and I want to see more episodes so I can just really just dive into if this is a consistent thing or just their art style in the first season. But it's very evident that that's what they were going for. Okay, <laughs> Tommy running is. <laughs> You're cool. on watch out, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, I could watch Tommy running all day. It's absolutely hilarious. I've tried everything, and I still can't get the broommeister to work. Ah, uh, Stu. Could this be the problem? Here comes Spike. Here comes Spike again. Saving the day. Jumping over the baby fence. Swinging through when they're discussing Stu's new invention. Saving the babies. Running back to the garage to avoid any of the blame for this chaotic mess that Fluffy Cause. They did it all! Damn and their dumb dog! He's still in the garage where I put him. We don't want to blame others for things we did wrong. There we have it. Spike. Spike saved the day, and now Angelica and Fluffy. 
Uh, they got a sweetheart. Maybe you've had enough excitement for one day. Uh, why don't we take your kitty and go home, okay? Stu, dropping a couple bros. You don't know what you're missing, bro. <laughs> just a bro drop. Just just a bro doing some inventions, man. <laughs> Okay, this is my favorite moment. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let it play out. Just watch. I'm sorry, Spike. I was wrong. It was that naughty fluffy after all. Forgive me. <laughs> That's a life lesson for kids, you know. Even if you're not doing anything wrong and your parents throw you into the garage, they still might apologize to you. No, but in all seriousness. Love seeing Spike get that super genuine, sincere apology. And then everything, the whole family comes together and he even gets a little <laughs> toy out of it. Ooh, isn't it one of Spike's toys? Yeah, it must be. Here you go. So the way that Rugrats worked, there was kind of two short episodes to create one full episode. But they had different topics and they're more short form. So I want this to be... Not a lengthy episode of How It's Aged. So I just watched the one half all about stinking fluffy. But at least we got to see Spike get a toy. So thanks again for watching. If you want to subscribe, like, or comment, that would be amazing. But before I wrap this up, of course I got to answer the age-old question. How did Rugrats age? Like, very good. That's how that's how critics do reviews now. How is it? I was like, this is like very good, but honestly, it was really watchable. I'd recommend watching it, even though it's a show about rug rags. It was about little babies. It's still, it's still funny. The art style is unreal, and the music, and being able to see how the parents function from a different perspective, it's really cool. So thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on our next episode of How It's Aged. A peace!